Hello everybody, Music Man here, and yes, uh, just as I promised you all, we are having a sneak peek of ACW, the American Civil War mod, Brothers vs. Brothers, a 3.6 patch that is not yet released. Uh, it will be released soon, but I was kindly gifted a dev version by Trig, the de developer of the mod. I've, I've, as you all know, I've joined forces with him. I'm getting a lot of uh, more involved with the community. And yeah, so this is, guys, I have to say, I have uh, already had a go at this. I played some battles, and there's some stuff that I am going to show you that literally has made me cry. I'm, I'm, I'm serious, guys. But uh, for this first video, uh, we're going to be looking at the different types of units that are going to be involved. The rifles that are being used, you're going to see, it's, 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 just, it's just awesome, guys. I, I am so glad to have the opportunity to bring this to you all today. So here we go. We're gonna now. First, we're gonna look at the the, the Confederates. Now we go here to play battle. Uh, now my campaign works. Uh, the campaign map works for me. Uh, Trick said you have to kind of you know restart your computer, restart Steam, and everything. Uh, it it already works for me. I don't know how far I can get into it, but we're not gonna we're not gonna deal with that this part. Next part, kind of tell you later what this next what the next video is gonna be about. So let's go ahead and get into a land battle. Go ahead and look at here. Um, I'm just gonna get a I'm just gonna get a just uh, Chancellorsville. Hey, how about that? Or we can do Shiloh. You know, Shiloh would probably be the... No, that's, a, that's a 2v2, though. I don't think I want a 2v2. Chancellorsville. We'll do that. We'll do some Chancellorsville. And, I, and yes, I do have my unit scale to Ultra. I love Ultra unit scale. Um, I guess if you want a more kind of realistic sense, you could put it on, like, medium. That might... You know, it, it it also depends on the machine that you're running on. Uh, my anti-aliasing filtering is down just because of crash purposes. Uh, sometimes you have to lower that a little bit just so it doesn't, you know, totally screw up and then you're automatically on your desktop. So anyway, we're going to go Chancellorsville. Now, here is the difference here. I'm going to, this is kind of the first thing I'm going to show you. As you can see, you can play as all of these factions and we're going to be going to the campaign map later in another video where I'm going to show you what's at play and how what what's the what's the what's the beginning scope of the campaign map as a whole and who is going to be at play when you start your campaign. So, first we're going to go, we're going to do the Confederates first obviously. Uh, for those of you who know <laughs> the my, the last version uh, or the 3. Point, I think it was 3. Point Four, I think uh, it's one of my most viewed videos on my channel right now. Um, I did that like two years ago, so I thought, you know, let's get involved with this community. Let's really create a big hype about this new uh, patch coming out. And I gotta say, guys, honestly, I I think this should be a standalone because it adds so much more stuff. But I'm not, you know, I, less of me talking and more of showing you stuff. So we're just gonna. I'm not. You know, I don't. I'm not even going to worry about uh, putting a union in an enemy right now. Uh, I'm just going to focus on. I'm just going to focus on what on the Confederacy right now, and then we're going to switch over to the Union and see what they have. We're going to be looking at units, the unit cards, and the rifles that each of them are using, because everyone is different. And I have to say, this is a this creates a more diversity uh, with this patch. So anyway. Uh, now, with these generals, as you can see, each of them has their faces. I know that the last version, uh, Robert E. Lee's face was not was not in, but um, I really want to save that for uh, another video or the next video because I want to show you something when we get to a battle map about these generals that literally just made me break down because it was, I mean, it, it just looked so real, guys. And So that's going to be another video. So if you want to see me cry... Um, Probably the next video we'll do that because I want to I want to show you a lot more stuff with that. But let's let's kind of uh, see what we got here. Now with the Confederates, as you can see, all of these units and their cards. I mean, oh, this is just so awesome. Look at this. So we have uh, we just have your basic militia, garrison militia, garrison infantry, uh, state militia, Confederacy. You get the Florida, all the states here that the Confederate states. And you know what? They got some Kentucky volunteers. So. You know why not? I'm from Kentucky. Let's put some Kentucky volunteers in there, and we'll we'll look at them as well. And let's see what else we got here. We got all these other volunteers of all the Confederate states. North Carolina. I live I live in North Carolina right now, but I am going to be moving back to Kentucky. For those of you who do follow my channel, know why. 
I'm doing this. So anyway, we do have the 5th Missouri Infantry. I'm going to show you those. And we're going to show you... I'm just going to put some more infantry. Jasper Greens. Now these, as you can see, since my unit car, since my unit scale is on ultra, uh, each of these are going to have 320 men. The the ones that are 140, I think they're going to be they're skirmishers, or you can say light infantry, or skirmishers, whatever. Um, but they also have some sharpshooters here that I am wanting to find. See, there's a so much. There's a so much stuff in here. It's kind of hard to <laughs> really, really get oriented. Um, well, they should have some sharpshooters. Here we go. We got the Missouri sharpshooter shooters. All of these are are skirmishers. So, but as you can see, the ranges with this with the Irish Jasper Greens here, the skirmishers, the range is 150 accuracy, 36. With the sharpshooters, the range is ridiculous, and you're going to see that in the battle. You're going you're going to see. Uh, how these ranges affect how they perform and how accurate they are. Uh, so um, now I have not seen this the Confederate undead. I have not seen this. So you know what? We're going to look at those as well. And there's 320 of those as well. We're uh, let's look at uh, this. Oh, I've already did the Southern Risen. This is the Confederate undead. Uh, let's look at the our heavy artillery battalion. And let's just look at some brigades here, the Hoods Texas Brigade, Orphan Brigade. And I want to show you some um, Quantrill's Ra uh, Raiders, which is the Missile Cav. And you're going to see, you're going to see in this Cav um, what they have to use uh, when they are regular Cav. So we're just going to get a couple of regular Cav too. Uh, and I'm just going to show you just, you know, the cars, the units. We're not going to do any battles. That's I'm going to say that for the next for the next video, guys. So stay, uh, make sure to stay tuned on that. Now we're uh, let's see we got all these generals here. Uh, let's see, is there any more count? Is Shelby's raid, uh, raiders. Let's do that. And let's see here. I think that's it. Now we're going to look at some artillery as well. I want to go ahead and just kind of get our 12-pounder howitzer, 24-pounder howitzer. Uh, actually, let's take out a regular cav. I want to be able to ordnance rifle. I want to be able to kind of show. A lot of stuff but you know what we'll probably be doing that in more battles um, anyway I want to I want to show you this now we're, let's just go ahead and kind of put some this random stuff here I'm gonna look at the Union later guys so don't worry about that we're gonna go to the Union and look and see what they have but as you can see lots of stuff here um, they got the Confederate engineers which I absolutely love and you know what I'm actually gonna get some of them as well and show you those because I remember using the Confederate engineers in my other campaigns on the previous versions um, so let's kind of yeah 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 all these volunteers we're good let's um and we I just got some random stuff going on here I don't have any artillery for the for the enemy just because I want to I want to try to have this a little bit more you know no chaos going on because I want to I want to show you uh, what I want to show you on this video. So let's just kind of go and see these units. And here we are. So now I've kind of organized this as best as I can to kind of go around and kind of show you the different stuff here. Now let's 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 look at the artillery first. We do have 20 we have 12 pounder howitzer and 20 24 pounder howitzer. So we got those there. And I think we can look at these cards here. Now the unit now look at these unit cards. They're a lot different now with with the uh, with the with the with this newer patch, and it gives a lot of information about it. This is the Kentucky Volunteers, has a lot of information, which I absolutely love. Um, I sometimes I can just spend most of my time just kind of reading this. Um, now Kentucky Volunteers, they are the, part of the Confederate, but you know in reality they was a neutral state, but they did secede for about. 15 minutes. Hey, that's Kentucky for you. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> but as you can see, the unit cars are a lot. Oh man, they, these look beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And these these 24-pounder uh, hounds. It shows you the shell, the canister, and the case shot that it has, as well as the fire. You know, all all the all the stats that it has. Uh, it has the abilities here, which is just pure awesomeness. We're going to show you the artillery first, and see now. See, they don't they don't line up. Like all straight together as it used to, but um, which is you know which is just fine. I mean, sorry for the big grass, guys. Um, sorry for the huge grass. Didn't mean to do that, but as you can see, you know just 
this looks really good and let's see if we can zoom in on this on this artillery piece here now unfortunately I still have not figured out how to move move the camera while I'm zoomed this is annoying I've always had that problem with my with my other stuff um, you know, they got their swords there that's cool but artillery uh, the howitzer the 12 pounder howitzer you can see their uh, you can see their shell there which is really nice that is so cool the barrel here's what I want to show you now are you ready for this guys watch boom now once we go into the def I'm getting a little little stutter there okay but um, as you can see it shows you the the barrack yeah, I'm getting a little bit hold on let me just pause yeah, getting a little bit of lag here, a little bit of stutter. Shouldn't be. I have a 680. Um, my all my stuff is down, so you know it'll be all right. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll it'll go back to normal. But you can see the barricades here. Little little there we go. A little bit different uh, than the, than the previous versions. I've noticed from what I remember, it was just the regular regular trench that they had in the vanilla, but these a lot more better you can see they're, they're dug in they got the wood here and wow this is just so awesome look at that yeah artillery artillery now let's go over to some of the what is this what do I have here oh yeah my battalions that I totally forgot to group up and I was gonna where the brigades I was gonna show you all that later okay so you can see now we have the North Carolina volunteers you can see that they are using the Richmond M1862. You can see now. I don't. Now here's the thing. I I don't. I can't really recall from the previous versions whether they had these bayonets or not. I honestly can't remember, guys. Um, but as you could see, all of them has their bayonets. And all of a sudden, I just got Stonewall's Stonewall's uh, little speech there from Gods and Generals. Uh, you will give them the bayonet. That is so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Let's zoom in here. Wow, we have the the, the Richmond 8 M1862 rifle. That is so nice. So this is the Volunteers, and as well as the Kentucky Volunteers here, they are using the is it the same one? Eight? Uh, no, the okay here. Okay, here's the difference. The Conf the Kentucky Volunteers are using the Springfield 1842, and the uh, 1842. Did I say that right? Yeah, 1862, sorry. 1862, 1842 with the Kentucky Volunteers. North Carolina is using the M1862. So there's a little difference there in in the design of these rifles. Let's kind of go side by side here and see, see what we can do. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, I can see just a tad bit of difference, just a little bit. Probably out here they kind of look the same, but they are different rifles. Now let's kind of go. So we've we've done these, we've done the artillery, we've done the volunteers. Let's go over here now. Let's let's look at our our sharpshooters and our skirmishers. First Tennessee Infantry. These are all. Uh, actually, I want to group you guys together first and get you spread out. There we go. Anyway, let me turn the sound down just a little bit. I don't want YouTube to have a fit here. There we go. Okay, so now let's kind of look here at the Pendles Missouri Sharpshooters. Now, as you can see, each they're using each of them are going to be different. Um, they do infields and the withwards. So each of them are well in this unit. There's going to be two rifles that are going to be used, and that is the infield and the, and the and the withworth. So as you can see, uh, let me look at that again. Let me look at that again. I have to have pictures to help. Um, I believe. I can't. I think that might be the infield. I can't. Honestly, cannot remember. Um, like I said, I'm not too educated on the guns, but but I, I can definitely appreciate this with historical. Um, so now we have the Withworth. I think these are Withworth. Now they actually these look like infields to me. I don't. But anyway, you can see the difference here um, with e what each of them are using in the Missouri sharpshooters. Now this looks absolutely cool, guys. And this, you know, this makes them to have that 450 range and the accuracy of 70 so these are definitely going to be somebody that you're going to be wanting to use in your campaign and you can see the range way the hell over here so literally once you start the battle you just have your uh, your sharpshooters in the front 
and they're automatically going to start firing. Or you can kind of keep them in the safe place in the flank there, and they can go ahead and uh, fire on the enemy as soon as the battle starts, which is just absolutely awesome. I'm, I'm getting chill bumps as we speak, guys. Um, but yeah, a trick wanted me, really wanted me to kind of pay attention to the cards as well as the rifles that are being used, and very well so. That is definitely a, a must, which is, I mean, just look at it. You can tell the difference. Okay, now let's let's go to the other unit here. We, we just did the sharpshooter, so let's kind of put you guys over there. Now, let's bring in the 1st Tennessee Infantry. Here they're going to be using the Richmond 18, M1862, and as you can see, about the same here with the bayonets there. Uh, and that's the only ones they are using, so this is the only rifles that they use. There's no multiple here. So about the same there, so that's cool. Okay, so let's now go over to the Irish Jaeger, Jaeger Greens, which are which will be using the Springfield 1842. So a little little different model there. So much really great. Still the bayonets. Really cool, really cool. And I do love their uniforms here. That is so cool. However, they're blue. Hmm. Uh, and that get the Confederate flag waving there. But these are Irish Jaeger greens, which is do do what they wear. And you can see the green kind of little. Oh shit! Come on now, woods, grass. Come on. You can see the greenish line to their pants, which you know. Hey, Irish. What can you say? The Irish now, lads. Fair play to you. So now we go to the. Now here's gonna be my favorite, the Confederate Engineers. I used these a lot in my previous campaigns on the previous versions. So let's have a look at these, shall we? They are, they will be using the Springfield M1861. So, um, seeing a lot of Springfields here, different models of the Springfield in each of these units. Um, very nice, very nice. Look at these guys. We got the Confederate Engineers. You can see their nice gray gray uniforms there there's the there's the captain right there or the lieutenant with his sword hung out let's see if we can get a zoom in on that sword without the flag kind of getting in the way and they got the they got the drummer there the snare drummer that is nice and each of them has their packs on their on their sides and their backpacks there now you can see a little diversity in these packs and the backpacks i like that one that's cool that reminds me kind of a like a Scottish feel or something like that. That is cool. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. So the Confederate engineers are done. Let's put them to the side now. Next up, Orphan Brigade. They will be using the same M uh, Springfield 1842. So, so a lot of kind of a lot of the same rifles, but but yeah, a lot more diversity here in this patch. Uh, now let's look at our brigade, shall we? Let's look at our brigade brigades first. Here we have, actually this is not a brigade, this is the Confederate Undead, which I've been wanting to really see. These are the Confederate Undead, and they will be using the Richmond M1861. So we got, so guys, already in, in much of these units that I've showed you, lots of diversity coming about with these rifles. Whoa, I just noticed that shit, look at that. Look at that, Confederate, <laughs> wow, that is so Oh, look at the red eyes. Let me see if I can kind of, kind of get a better, shit, get a better zoom here. There we go. Look, wow, Confederate undead. <laughs> you know, this is definitely going to be a unit that is that you're going to want to use in your Confederate campaign. This might instill some fear into the enemy. But uh, same kind of the range, not a, not as good accuracy. But like I said, it seems like that it would. Um, uh, localized. See, now most of this stuff doesn't have the text yet because, of course, um, the mod's not finished yet. So, anyway, look at that. That is, damn. That makes me want to piss myself. I'd be running if I was the Union if I saw that. Wow. Now, obviously, this is not realistic, but I think it is just. I think it's cool. Look at the red eyes there. That is so. Wow. Whew. Chill bumps. Okay. Next up. Uh, I've already looked at these light infantry here, looked at the engineers. Here we go. We got the heavy artillery battalion, which is using the Enfield P1853, which uh, now we got it. This is another another new rifle here we got. These are a lot more lighter color, as you can see. And 
got the red hats on there. Let's kind of get a let's kind of get a zoom in going on right here. There we go. Must be chewing some backy. Yeah. Got the CSA uh, belt buckle there. And oh, this this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful, guys. I am just beside myself. So now, yes, the Enfield P1853 used here by the Heavy Artillery Battalion. So we'll put you over to the sign. You're done. Here we go. Now we have Greg's Brigade. Greg's Brigade will be using Mississippi 1841. So as you can already see, lots of rifles that are being added into these units. The skins are beautiful, guys. Sorry about the tall grass. That kind of sucks. But, I mean, you can kind of get the idea. Next video, we're going to have us a good old battle. I'm going to show you some, show you a lot of other stuff. We're going to be looking at some sieges and how they're a lot more different. Um, but the, wow, this is a huge bandit. Look at that. That's huge. Wait a minute. Hold on. I'm, hold on a minute. Let me, let's, let's kind of do a comparison here. Let's do the Orphan Brigade. I think that was the, let's look at that. Let's look at over here. Uh... See, now, not as big of a bayonet. As you can see, these are just freaking ass huge. Look at that. That is cool. So you can see, you can start seeing the difference in how, how, how much, uh, see, it kind of gives the unit its own diversity, which I absolutely love, um, which is really what is needed. So here we got Hood's Texas Brigade. They are using the Springfield 1842 as well. They look rather awesome. And you can see that each of them has their different hats here. Uh, which is rather cool. You can see uh, accuracy 55. All these unit cards gives everyone gives a bit of information about um, the regiment itself, assembled in you know October 22nd, 1861 in Richmond, Virginia. So each of them you can read and get information on that. That is really cool, guys. Really cool. So. Um, I think I've, 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 I've spent a lot of time as it is. Crunchyroll's Rangers, we have various cavalry weapons. We got the pistol, and they got their guns as well. Uh, they don't have them drawn. They won't have that until they do battle. You can kind of get in here. A lot of diversity here, which is really cool. And they do shoot. What is their range? Let's look at the range. Accuracy 32, range 70. So they are also, I mean, they, they can... They can do. They can shoot. They can melee. They can mount and dismount. So many uses, many uses there. So let's kind of go over here. Shelby's Rangers. They. This is about the same thing. Um, you can kind of see the difference. And these uniforms are really cool. That's nice. That is really cool. You can kind of see what they have here. They got the. They got the swords. Let's kind of go on the other side and see what we got. I'm trying to find their pistols. I can't find them. Uh, well, they're gonna dr they'll draw it out once they get into battle. Anyway, really cool guys. Um, let's look at what, what was the what was the other one? Let's look over here. Got you over there. Now this regular cavalry, they are using the Enfield Musketoon, which is uh, I don't think they have that drawn. Yeah, right there it is in the back, right over here on the side, right on the side. Just the uh, here they are. There's the Enfield right down there on the side. That is, oh, man, I'm just so excited, and I can't, I can't sit still. 5th Missouri Infantry are using the P-1842 Brown Bess rifle, which is really cool here. You can see the difference here. They do still have the bayonets. The bayonets are a little darker, looks like it. So, yes, as you can see, guys, lots of stuff added into this. Uh, very um, accurate rifles, which is, oh, I'm, guys, I'm just, oh. So awesome, so awesome. So, let's kind of, uh, so that's kind of what's Confederacy. I can't obviously show you every single unit just because um, I don't have that many slots. <laughs> so, we're going to go over and we're going to look at the Union. And here we are. Uh, I just kind of wanted to show you quickly all the units that are here. So, let's kind of, let's look at here. Let's see, we got Union, let's look at the Union conscripts. Let's look at those. Um, Indiana Volunteers. And oh, we got. I also got Kentucky Volunteers. I don't know what. I think they're using the same rifle. Maybe. Let's look in here. Um, Piet Zwaves, Second Scotch, uh, Scandinavian Regiment. Let's look at those. And Missouri. They got the Skirmisher um, versus Missouri Sharpshooters Company. And Colored Infantry. Let's look at those. See what they got. Uh, 
First Irish, and these are skirmishers as well, so we'll look at those. Slavic Volunteers, Mounted Infantry, which uh, seems really interesting to me. South Carolina, let's look at those. Let's look at the... I want to look at the Gatling gun here. I want to look at the 30-pound Parrot gun, uh, the Horse Artillery, and the 12-pounder Napoleon. And then we're going to look at some regular Cav here. Kirk's Raiders. Actually, I don't... Uh, no, 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 no. Let's take out the... Now let's take, let's do the, oh crap, what we got here, uh, third inch ordnance, let's do that. So we got three more, so let's look at Wilson's Cavalry, Vedette Cavalry, there we go. So let's, let's, let's look at those. Here we go guys, here we look at the Union and what they have. Sorry, I did spend a lot of time on the Confederacy, but I, I just got so excited. Every time I see stuff on Confederacy, I mean, I'm not, I'm, trust me, I'm by no means a Confederate, but, um, it's just the history of it, and it really, really interests me. Okay, so now we have the Union, just regular, regular Union conscripts. So in here we have the also the Springfield 1861. So a lot of them are going to use, be using the same rifles as they did as the Confederate. Uh, so we, uh, yeah, these are really nice. Look at those, badasses. Even the con, there's conscripts and there's, they still look badasses. They have the 150 range, 33 accuracy. And also gives a lot of information here. The C1, uh, that's really cool, Springfield. So yeah, awesome. We got the there's the conscripts. So let's kind of put those to the side. Come on, there we go. Now here we will look at the Indiana Volunteers. They use the Springfield 1861 as well, and so about a little bit of a little bit of the same as the conscripts here. Um, not a lot of difference, but. Uh, the range is different a little bit as well as reloading skill and that will also play a part into your campaign and into your battles so and also the range range actually every line of infantry here has a the ranges are actually a lot more than they they was in the previous versions which is really cool here we have the Kentucky volunteers and they are using the 1855 I th Honestly, guys, I can't remember what I had in the Confederacy, what they were using. Um, you'll probably uh, realize that a lot quicker than I will. So uh, if you can see, if they're using the same rifle, uh, let me know. Uh, I can't remember. I just did it a couple minutes ago, but, you know, uh, my mind's not. I'm forgetting stuff a lot easier now. So, um, but, yeah, you can see the 1855 Springfield here, which is really cool. The Kentucky Volunteers, Union Kentucky Volunteers, they got their, oh, they got the hats that lets you know that they are volunteers which is oh that's so awesome it's so awesome okay here we have the Ohio Platts Zwabs here they are using the Springfield 1842 as well got the bayonets and the red hats that is so cool okay let's look over at our light infantry and our skirmishers here for the Union we do have second Scotch regiment they are using the Henry rifle M18 so this is a new one this is a new one that we have not seen this is a much smaller rifle uh, and it gives them that 150 range accuracy eh, so it's okay accuracy is all right um, a little bit yeah you know that's because they're line infantry and and you can see not as much as range um, as the other ones in the Confederate, but each of them are different. But you can see the right. Let's get a good old zoom in on these rifles here. Right there, you can see how you know the small because they are uh, skirmishers, which uh, I think I think it really helps for reloading skill. He yeah, have 40 reloading skills, so that's that's okay. Um, really cool there, guys. Really cool. You can also have them in take cover, which also and you can do this with the Confederacy as well on these on these light infantry and these skirmisher units. You can do take cover, which actually spreads them into loose formation, and you can also trench them. Um, the, these are a little different, I think. Oh, we got one guy stuck in there. Hello, hello. And you know the trench does kind of go in with the with the length of the units. Oh yeah, he he's yes, stuck sir. in there. He's he's not having a good day. Looks like it. Okay, so we got that one done. Now we got the sharpshooters here. Now these, those have the ranges like ridiculous right there. So the Missouri or the is that Minnesota? It could be Minnesota. Minnesota sharp. Yeah, Michigan. Oh, Michigan. 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 We got sharps rifle M1853. Now that's cool. Sharps rifle. And you can see uh, actually, oh, they look like. Wait, hold on a minute. 
for a minute I thought they were African American, but apparently they're not. Uh, yeah, that's cool. See those? Got the different rifles, and you can see the difference here. Let's look at the. Let's kind of look side by side here, side by side. You see that there is a difference here, which and so it adds to the so much detail in this in this new patch, which is epic, just so epic. Now here we have the first Irish. Um, the, uh, we got the Indiana I first Irish, and they will be using the Enfield P1853 right there with the bayonets. These are light infantry. You can also get them in the loose formation, and range is really cool, so that's nice. Nothing at all like that range right there. That is just ridiculous. Um, so here we got the Slavic Slavic volunteers. They are using the Springfield M1860. So a lot of a lot of units are going to be using the same rifles, but also each unit has their own. A lot of diversity here, guys. So yeah, that's nice. Look at that. That looks the same as the other ones, but well, they're volunteers, so they got those hats. So here we have the Scandinavian regiment. They are using the oh the Belgian Liege 1842. So this is another new rifle that we have not seen yet. Right. Oh wow. They got the big bayonets on the side there too. That is awesome. Wow. 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 I am. Oh. Man, this is so glad to be bringing this to you guys. Um, Enfield P1853 with Union Colored Infantry. Let's look at the Colored Infantry here. They, yeah, they, they, yeah, they look colored. That's why I got confused with these other ones because they also they look colored as well. Which one? Yeah, right here. They look. I th well, I think they are Michigan Sharpshooters. They might be. At least they look like it. Um, if anybody knows a little bit more detail on the Michigan Sharpshooters, let me know. Um, colored infantry, right there, cool. And you know, I probably should go ahead. I could probably go ahead and just look at the, look at the. Oh shit, where was it at? Where were they at? Right here. You can also look at the. You can look at the information. It might have it on there. I don't think so. Hmm. I'm just kind of skimming it because I want to move on here. So, colored infantry using the infield. P1853. Here, the first uh, South Carolina Volunteers. Let's see, we got the Springfield, another Springfield here. So, Volunteers, South Carolina. Oh, they got the red pants. That's cool. Yeah, I remember that. That's nice. Wow, look at the detail, guys. This is so cool. Anyway, Mountain Infantry. They will be using the Spencer Rifle 1865. You can see uh, they got the C2. Now, now, uh, this is a question for Trig. The I, I'm not understanding where you have the difference. Like they got the C1, they got the C2 here. Um, I, I I did know, and I can cannot remember for the life of me. Uh, if any of you know, uh, please comment or go to the Total War thread on uh, on Total War Center. Well, we will. I will also have this video on there as well. So looking looking rather nice. Okay, let's move on. Now we have the Gatling gun. We can see uh, they have the Gatling gun. Oh, wow. Look at that. Oh, you see? Oh, wow. Oh, let's get them in the trench. Oh, look at that barricade. Oh, wow. That is nice. I can't even. They don't even. Wow, this Gatling gun. I, I think the only time I saw them was in Fall of the Samurai. Really? That is cool. Let's go over here and look at the Parrot Rifle. The parrot, uh, yeah, the parrot rifle cannon. Oh wow, these are, these are got to be beast. Let's look at those. They got the bolt shell. Let's look. Let's look at the Gatling gun. That the six. They got 600 rounds per minute. Uh, I don't know why they don't have firepower there, but the range is just ridiculous. So you can see that now. Let's go back to the 30, 160 firepower, 2,000 range. Wow, what? Where is that? Uh, look at this. All the way to the end. Wow, that is ridiculous. Wow, guys. And I bet you all cannot wait till this comes out. This is, I cannot wait to start a campaign when this is released. Um, we do have the 12-pounder Napoleon. We can see they got a solid shot canister and grape shot here. And 825 range, which is cool. We'll get them in there. Nicely done. Wow, that is cool.
That is cool. Okay, let's move on. Let's go over here to just the regular Union Cavalry. They do have the Sharps Carbine 1863. So I don't, this is a new one as well. This is a new rifle we have. Um, and guys, there's so many, so many more units here. I just do not have a lot of time or much time to just present every single one and what rifles they use. Just want to give you a sense of what we're dealing with here as far as uh, a little bit of accuracy as well as detail and as well as diversity because each of them the C3. So I guess they're they look like they're a little bit more more um, they probably have more power I guess the C3 there. Um, still can't really remember that it's been a while. Uh, yeah, so we got them there. The Sharps, I think that was the Sharps Carbine. Oh, the, we got the various cavalry weapons there. That was the... No, Sharps Carbine was the Union Cavalry. We are doing the Kirk's Raiders here, and they are just using their various various weapons, their pistol and their, you know, their little rifle that they got going on. They look rather nice. Anyway, here we have Wilson's Cavalry. Wilson! We got the Spencer Carbine, 1865 there. Uh, can we look at yes we can look at it there we go right there really nice really nice horses do not want to sit still anyway wow okay last but not last but not least the vedette cavalry they are using the sharps car by 1963 and rather nice as you can see uh, not, a, not a lot of them not a lot of information uh, and it's usually just kind of what it is, really. It's from French and Italian words. Uh, they got a C2 on them, uh, so they look really, really cool. But guys, that is that is pretty much the basics of what we're going to be seeing as far as Confederate and Union, the diversity of these units, and what rifles they're using, and also the difference in how these cards are presented uh, to the to the gamer as well. A lot of information. And so, guys, uh, I'm going to have to quit here. I kind of went over my time. I do hope that you've enjoyed this first part of our sneak peek. Next part, guys, we're going to go all balls out. We're going to have us a good battle. We're going to show the generals, and I'm going to show you something that literally made me cry. And I'm probably going to be crying again uh, in the next video. So if you want to see that, please uh, stay tuned for number two of our sneak peek. This is just a diversity in the style of units and the rifles that they are using as well as their cars. Show you the artillery as well and what they do. So next part guys, we'll be looking at battles. We'll be looking at sieges and how they are different. And guys, thank you so much for watching. I do hope that you've enjoyed this part one of our sneak peek of their upcoming 3.6 patch for the American Civil War mod for Empire Total War. Until next time, guys, uh, it'll be it'll be this week or it'll be a couple days when I get out the next video. So guys, stay tuned until then. Please remember to comment, thumbs up, uh, thumbs up, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Google Plus, and join my Steam group. And we shall see you all next time. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed this uh, this information video about what we're what to expect on this new patch. Until then, thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time.